Hello YouTube, I'm back and hopefully I'll be posting videos regularly once again. Um, I've got quite an impressive backlog of arrangements and some comp compositions that I'm really excited about sharing on YouTube. So I got a lot of questions about my arrangements, um, so I've decided to post a little video at the end of my videos, from probably for most of them if not all of them. So La Redécouverte is a really nice, relatively simple song. The accompaniment throughout is just C major. Like a lot of other songs, it's very simple. Um, it gets really interesting um, when the accompaniment doubles, so it goes to this. So I don't know if you're able to see, but I'm only playing that with my thumb and my index finger, so I'm leaving my middle and ring fingers free to play the melody like this. So what's interesting about this is um, the accompaniment is in is faster than the melody, which is unusual for fingerstyle players who are used to a, a melody which is faster than the accompaniment. Um, so if you want to play something like this, what you need to do is first figure out the accompaniment, and then what you need to do is sing the melody. Focusing on the rhythm rather than the melody. So once you can do that, uh, you're nearly set to play the melody with your fingers. Um, so what you need to do, and with this is what I've done with this and with other arrangements which have a similar accompaniment, is you sing the melody very slowly over the accompaniment. And one note at a time you figure out where it lands in the accompaniment. Because the accompaniment is straight sixteenth notes, da 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 da, um, you can you can be sure that the melody is going to land on one of the accompanying notes. It's not going to land in between, so it's quite straightforward in that respect. So what you need to do is you need to sing the melody. So the first melody note is going to land. It's on the one, so it's going to land at the same time as the first accompanying note. So it's going to be. That's how we're going to start. So it's an E note. Here. So the second note, we need to sing it to see where it's going to land. So you see, and you look at where you are. This is the note that I played at the same time that I sang. So this is the note that I'm going to have to play at the same time that I play the note. So it goes, okay. So the third note along, we do the same thing. Again, it's another thumb note. Bum, bum, bum. That one there. So we add that. And so on. So you just figure out where each one is actually going to land. And you go, I, I go about it really systematically. And it's a really good exercise. And it's quite, it's quite a scientific approach, I suppose, to arranging. But it really works. And it means that you don't really need to write anything down. Because another way, which might be more straightforward, would be if you wrote down in tab or in notation the um, accompaniment, which would go do do you know this, and then you wrote down the melody. That would tell you where um, each note would coincide. But it's much better to do it just on your own through singing like this. I'll play it for you just once uh, slowly so you can hear how it should sound. découverte. I hope you have fun with it.